happened? Can you tell me what happened? As a combat medic, treating soldiers and saving lives is what you're trained to do. And for these 2nd Brigade 1st Cavalry soldiers, there's something new to learn. Instead of training to save lives on the ground, they're learning how to save lives on an aircraft. It is a different world. You lose uh, your sense of hearing. You're working in a lot more confined space. Our dog is about a 15 minute flight to the roll three, all right? You got 15 minutes. You just gotta know what you need to do. There's a process that we do when we get in the aircraft and we're just trying to teach them that. And we believe that uh, Practice doesn't make perfect, but perfect practice makes permanent. Combat medics assisting flight medics on aircraft. The Army came up with this program to assist in uh, uh, providing better care for all of our casualties. Um, so the idea was to bring in additional medics as an asset, give them additional training, um, you know, increase the care we do give our patients. They're called back wall medics, mainly because of where they sit in the aircraft. But when it comes to giving life-saving blood, They've got a name for that, vampire. Oh, vampires are blood missions. All right, um, so now it's, uh, it's standard for all medevacs to carry blood on board. Um, when we do give a patient uh, blood, um, it's called a vampire mission. It makes training more realistic, and overall, it'll provide better care for soldiers. Everything we do is awesome. We get to do anything involving helicopters or even just when we're on the, blood, the, the IV lanes, any trauma lanes, uh, patient assessments, all of it's, it just, it's fun. For America's First Team, I'm Army Sergeant Elliot Valdez.